Hi guys, I'm Tim and this is Alex and we're here at Big Bear Bikes in Pickering, North Yorkshire to check out the brand new High Bike Like. You probably haven't seen or heard much about this bike because literally it landed in the shop inside the last couple of weeks. So fresh, fresh, fresh. And Alex, this is your bike, right? It is, yeah. yeah. So uh, I apologise for it being a little bit dirty. Um, I've been riding it like an idiot, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what it's for, it's exactly what it's for. So all good. So the, um, the lightweight electric bike market, that's really kicking off. There's been big news with the Fuel EXE over the last few months, and this is High Bike's answer. It's a lightweight, full suspension electric bike. Alex, tell us some more about this machine. Yes, yeah, so we've got the Fazio, the brand new Fazio Ride 60 motor. Um, so basically, this gives us um, 60 newton meters of, uh, of torque. Um, we've got a slightly bigger battery than we used to on the on the old Ride 50 as well. So we've gone from a 250 on the old version to a 430. So that's massively increasing the range. The motor is actually nestled into this upright here and then the battery in here. So that's obviously keeping the center of gravity really low as well. So what is the range, Alex? So the range, as yet untested personally, um, we've got five bars of battery on there and yeah. I've managed to get 20 miles to two bars so far. So you think it's probably a 50, 60 mile range thereabouts? I would think. I mean, in that 20 that I did, I was flitting between the bottom and the middle setting. Yeah. So I think 50 if I'm feeling fit, 30 if I'm feeling fun. <laughs> Something like that. Right, OK, cool. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've, we've got a lightweight carbon fibre frame. Um, We've got 140 mm travel front and rear. Um, a lot of decent components on there. Um, I have changed a couple. I've changed the handlebars and stem just to personal preference, really. Um, we've got XT drivetrain, decent big XT brakes with the Ice Tech rotors as well. So decent stopping power on there. Um, Mavic cross match wheels um, with bladed spokes and straight pull as well, um, which are two of my favorites. The bladed spokes cut through the air quicker. The straight pull spokes are more effective at transferring power, so. Result. Yeah. And you said to me that the reason that you went for the high bike like is because typically you get a lot of spec for your money, like for like. You do, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, like for like. <laughs> no, sorry, didn't realize I'd done it. <laughs> yeah, if, 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 I'd have been looking at a, if I'd have been looking at a track, probably I would have spent more. Right. And then I would have changed parts as well. Yeah. I mean, obviously I've changed a handlebar and stem, that's not a great deal. Yeah. I would have had to change tyres. Yeah. We come with a branded tyre. Um, I mean, all these are little, are little things. Which and personal preference, right? Personal preference, yeah. 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 A lot of people would be quite happy. Um, I just want to change. Because I'm not really fit at the moment, I'm really liking faster rolling tyres, even though they're slightly less grippy. So the dissectors are incredibly fast rolling tyre, but still have a decent braking and cornering performance. So they're really suiting me at the moment for carrying speed over stuff and just literally minimising putting as much effort in on every pedal stroke. And I, th I think you mentioned there about um, the spec for your money and, and you, know, you know, a great budget option, you know, but actually, High Bike were the first people to come to market with a full suspension electric bike, weren't they? Mm. Yeah, yeah, so they were the yeah. market leader, they set the standard, and, and we know Trex build quality is absolutely off the charts, but you can be completely confident that you're getting a lot of bike for your money here, aren't you? You're getting a really yeah. well-engineered product. Yeah, for definite. Um, yeah, I mean, as I say, you know, you wouldn't really have to change many parts on this bike and the equivalent Trek would have been a chunk more expensive Right. Uh, okay. if we were making a comparison. Okay, so what kind of riding am I going to do on this? At the moment I'm doing a bit of everything, I'll be honest. Um, I've done some kind of red routey stuff, I've done some off piste you know, technical stuff. Um, pretty much at the moment that's the extend, but I am looking at using it to do kind of some Mars trekking and things right. like that and you know heading out once I've learned what the range is like and learn how, how much I can trust the battery the settings and yeah. things like that I'm intending on doing some kind of up around the forestry up over the Mars back round again. So moorland riding, traditional trail riding, off piste having so a real go, it's literally a capable everything. bike. Yeah. Literally everything, literally okay. everything. And you give us a bit of a headline on the spec but can we just sort of walk through it in a bit more detail so mm. from, a, from a group set point of view what am I getting on the new high bike like? Yeah so XT drivetrain so we've got a uh, 10 on the bottom, 51 on the top. So that's decent high gears, decent low gears for decent climbs and things like that. Um, obviously the brakes are also XT. Um, really, really good performing four pot brakes. Um, 203 disc on the front, 180 at the back. Um, so decent stopping power, you know. Um, I've been very impressed with those. I've got the same brakes on another bike, but in a smaller disc version. 
these are outstanding. So you rate them, fantastic. Yeah, really, and, really good. And what about a suspension setup? Yeah, suspension wise, so we've got a Fox 36 Performance up front. Uh, so that's a you know mid mid spec Fox fork, um, decent, really decent damping control. The 36 keeps the weight down, but it's still nice and stiff. Um, and just your Fox float rear shock on there, which basically just simplifies settings. You've just got three settings on there. So you've got a trail setting with a slight pedaling platform, yeah. a full lock or a full open for downhill. Okay, and, and like to, to people that might be new to mountain bikes and full suspension mountain bikes, think, you, can you tell me this looks very different to me to traditionally what I'm seeing on my Fuel EX, for example, where my suspension setup is, is, is just totally different? Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a slightly different way of doing it. I mean, obviously, high bike have tried to nestle it inside here, which makes it look a lot neater. Yeah. What a lot, a lot of companies do is they're putting the shock down at the bottom here. Yeah. That keeps the centre of gravity low, yeah. and obviously the rocker pushes down on it. On this bike, there's a motor in there, okay. so we've probably got no space. Okay. So it's maybe just another way of doing it, but I can tell you under, under riding circumstances, still feels great. No difference. It's slightly different feel to, to how it actually actuates. Okay. Other than that, performs well. Right, brilliant. Okay, cool. And uh, have we got a carbon fibre frame on this bike? Cheers. Yeah. yeah. Just talk us through the range then. So, like, how many models have they brought out? So there's three models in total. There's a like 10 a like 11 and then a like se so se stands for special edition yeah um we've got the like the like 10 is the bottom this is the 11 which is the middle one yeah um pricing there's about a thousand pounds in between, between so this, this middle one is uh 6799 okay the lower one under six the higher one is about eight but when you're seeing other lightweight e-bikes you know as much as 10 12 14 thousand pounds that's oh, yeah. a great value proposition yeah a really achieve a really achievable value for money bike um but heavily speculated um i'm a child i love the look of this bike what are the colors what do you mean i've caught you out i'm loving loving <laughs> loving this is fluoro so, this is luminous yellow right this is a weird light blondy colour. <laughs> I'm not getting official high bike colours here, am I? I'm just getting abused. Right? And this is almost a naked carbon fibre, but it's got some uh, got some, some elements. nice graphics on some it. Some elements well. of flashiness in there, yeah. yeah. I mean, high bike are known for quite out outlandish colours. Yeah. Um, and yeah, would I have chosen it if it if it wasn't the spec of the bike that caught my eye? Probably not. Right. Do I care? No. No. <laughs> well, I think it looks it. <laughs> I totally do. So cool. And then you've put Bergtech pedals on it. I have. Yeah. 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 Very smart. Cool. So um, if people want to test ride this bike, can they do that? I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> we've, um, we've got a demo event up at Dolby Forest at the end of the month. So if you're watching this video in April, come to Dolby Forest the 29th and 30th of April. It's called Hubfest. High Bike are actually going to be there. This bike will be on display. So you can talk to the High Bike team or talk to Alex and other members of the Dolby Forest Cycle Hub and Big Bear Bikes team. Um, and just, yeah, look over the bike in the flesh. See for yourself just how much bike you're getting for your money. It's an incredible thing. Um, and then obviously if you want to test ride the shop and maybe get measured up for one, then get yourself down to Big Bear Bikes in Pickering where Alex and the guys can absolutely help you do that. Um, final words? Awesome bike. Awesome bike. He spent his own money on it, so you know he's not making that up. Um, get yourself down to Big Bear Bikes. The bikes are in stock and available now. Um, and then just as a final thing, if you like any of our content, make sure you uh, subscribe to our page, follow us, like, share our content. You know what to do. And um, we'll see you again soon. Cheers.